talk about master pages hi my name is aftab and today's topic is master pages in esp.net so master pages were introduced by microsoft in uh, .net framework 2.0 and above then we had 3.5 and now the current one is 4.0 so what basically master page is i'll give you a scenario let's say for example you're working on a website that has got 100 pages and you want to make some changes in all those pages in all those 100 pages so it would be too tedious to go and make changes in all the individual pages so what you can do is that create a master page that's where the master page comes into play what you can do is that create a master page and define how the header is going to look like in the web page how the footer is going to look like you know the footer where we have the copyright information and then in the master page we can define how the navigation on bar is going to be is it going to be on the top or is it going to be on the left hand side or wherever you would like to place it and once you have defined your layout what you can do is that you can create content pages so what you do is that you create a page and then have have a master page call it or uh, basically master pages are nothing but parent forms and then the content forms are nothing but the child forms so that's the main idea Con the master pages basically are the template once you define the template you can call it any number of times and any place in your web forms you can also have uh, nested master pages which means you can have more than one master page in, in a web form so that's the idea about that so uh, well that's about it i'm going to make some more videos in the future which includes asp.net php and uh, css anyone database technology so keep tuned in and thank you very for thank you very much for i don't know what's going on with my voice so thank you very much for watching this video and do leave your comments on the bottom because your comments really are very useful to me because then i know where i'm going wrong where i'm going right and what improvement or what changes i need to make in my uh, videos so uh, thank you once again and keep tuning in and don't forget to subscribe on the button on your left hand side it must be on the right left bottom somewhere so click that button and subscribe to my videos as i'll be making as i'll be making some more videos definitely in the future so there are a lot many videos in my channel you can go through all of them or whatever whichever video you are interested in and i hope that that video would definitely be helpful to you so thank you once again and have yourself a good day thank you